Hey everyone, there have been some updates to the Spirit Beast, so I wanted to take a few minutes to go over some of the things on how to get your Spirit Beast and how to level them and use them best to up your DPS and your rating. So first of all, let's talk about where we get Spirit Beasts. Um, the one place we can get shards for Spirit Beasts is Dark Spire. If you run your Dark Spire um, and you go into the rewards preview, you can see down a little bit there are these ion uh, shards and chaos crystals. If you haven't already gotten your rings, focus on your rings and your necklace and your jewelry first for those. But if you have, um, if you've already gotten those, then you can use those to get spirit beasts. So we're going to go up to the high marshal. I was just looking for which one it was. Um, high marshal there will give you into this screen, which will add uh, down at the bottom has the dark spire exchange. Now there's more advanced rings at the top for higher levels, but if you've used all your ion shards, you can get your spirit beasts um, packs to up them. And you can also get these bags, which will give you shards. So that's one way to get your spirit beast shards. Before going into the other way, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my spirit beast. So here I'm gonna look at my spirit beast, uh, go down to the spirit beast tab. And you can see I have a little red dot next to summon. I have all of the shards for this kind of um, fire guy. And so I'm gonna go ahead and summon him. This will give me both the pet and the spirit pet. So that's um, pretty useful. And if you're at least you know collecting pets. So here I'm gonna go ahead and look at what I can do with this. Now I have a fire pet here now. You'll notice this little fire symbol in the top corner. That's important because now they've changed it so that you can assist, have different types of pets assist. So here in the bottom corner, I have a water pet, but it's the fire slot, which is not good because the bonus will only be effective if I have them in the correct spot. So I am going to unequip this water pet and equip my fire pet. Now you can see that it kind of lit up the circle below. So now I'm assisting with a fire type pet in there. But my fire pet is level one and my other pet was level 48. And so I really wanna see if I can level up this pet a little bit. So how is the best way to do that? I only need one water pet um, for that water slot. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna restore and dismantle. By clicking the restore now button at the bottom, I'm using diamonds to restore that pet back to a level one and I get all of the items that I put into the pet back. So now I can go into my fire beast and I can cleanse my fire beast. By cleansing my fire beast, I raise it up to a B rating and then even higher to an A rating. This raises my stat bonus that I get from this pet. So it's important to go ahead and cleanse this spirit beast as you can all right once you can't cleanse the spirit beast anymore then go ahead and next i'm going to level him up click on the little vial to select the number and i just set to max and it leveled him up to level 50 because um, that is how many potions i had next i want to go into the bloodline section this will allow me to up the stars that he has so i'm going to just go ahead and give him all the food i have and I'm also going to select the two green beasts underneath because he can consume those as well. All right, now you can devour them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add these two green beasts in and then I'm gonna devour those. And that ups the star rating, which ups the my rate and the pet a lot. So now he's pretty high, but I have this level one pet that I still don't really need. So go back into Restore and Dismantle, and that will allow you to dismantle this pet. Now click the checkbox next to Decompose. Now you can see it's checked. I'm gonna dismantle that, and now that extra level one pet is gone. I don't need him. So if I go into the Awakening tab at the bottom, I can now give my pet additional skills. So I'm gonna click Awakening, and here I can't up this pet anymore. Um, I have the water stones, I just don't have the other stones yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that and go into the new pet that I just got, which is the fire pet. And I can click the button here and this will allow me to up his level, kind of give him special little bonuses. So if I click over here, it says that I get a hit level. Um, I can't really see all of it, but 
you get additional bonuses. Um, and so, but it's only a bonus if you have him equipped in that fire slot in the assist page. So make sure that you have your guys in their correct slots or you don't get those bonuses. Now, if I go into my festival page and my void box and click on the summon, I wait until I have enough, I have nine shards so I can select 10 of these. It's a better ratio. Um, so I'm gonna get some shards this way and some other things for my pets. That's another way to make sure you can get those little shards for your spirit pets. Um, I didn't get anything new that I can use to up them as maybe another uh, codex to up the uh, cleanse area, but nothing else to up them further. But hopefully you found this helpful for kind of how you go around doing your spirit pets. Um, I can actually up this one a little more, so I'll up him as well. Um, and hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, we will see you next time and thank you for watching.